There is simply not enough love in the world. All we see in the news these days is war, war and more war. If it's not a revolution in the Middle East, it's NATO killing another dictator or another police brutality case. I was also part of the problem once. You see, I was in the army for a short period but was kicked out for picking flowers. The army didn't like that. They said my actions were subversive to the machine. I asked what machine and they told me the machine of imperialism. I had no idea what that meant. I just wanted to travel. I mean, that's what the advertisement said, that I would travel if I joined. I did travel, just not to the places I wanted. I supposed to know the army doesn't like flowers and thinks they are subversive. Still, who better than me to subvert hatred? I love everyone, even the people I find disgusting. Even though I find you disgusting, I love you. I just wanted you to know that. Want a piece of gum? And he said, I'd rather have some money. I was a little shocked when he responded that way. But after a little thought, I figured that we all have demands and if I'm to tolerate them, as I unquestionably do, I would have to understand them. Oh no, I'm not gonna give you any money. You'll just go buy drugs and alcohol and cigarettes and porn and other nasty things. I have to protect you because I love you. If not money, then how about something to eat? Don't be greedy and ungrateful. Shut up and take this. I bought this piece of gum just for you. Do you want to hurt my feelings? See, I love everyone. So who better to save the world from hatred? I'll tell you how I did it. It all started when I was walking in Hollywood and I saw a couple fighting. And I said to them, stop fighting. And the man said, what? And I repeated, I said, stop fighting, love each other. Who the hell are you? I'm I, and I'm here to tell you to love each other. Go fuck yourself. Well, that's not very nice of you to say. Fuck off, he said. It was a miracle. I had no idea that I had that kind of power over people. I mean, with a few words I was able to bring these two people together. If this was possible, then anything was possible and I was determined to make the world love. Day and night I brainstormed about my theory, to formalize it and share it with the world. Come on, all the great prophets were able to make people love, so why couldn't I? Certainly the human mind has developed, even if humankind hasn't since those times. However, I would need to test it and confirm my theory before sharing it with the world. I was determined to spread love, and this is no time to fail. Everyone needed me now more than ever. Ahem! Ahem! Stop! Hello? Stop, I said. Well, obviously I had to get back to the drawing board. I knew that it wouldn't be that easy. Well, I had a feeling it wasn't going to be that easy. If it was easy, those other prophets would have succeeded, right? Right, I said to myself. You're definitely smart, beautiful, classy, talented. So I pushed on and did what I always do when I fail. Cook. Well, I don't always cook. Sometimes I eat. But this time, I'm cooking. Exactly. But this time, I'm cooking coverage. What's coverage, you ask? Well, ask your Romanian grandmother, or your Romanian friend, or your Romanian neighbor. No, none of these. Well, you obviously don't live in Hollywood.
The thing is I hate coverage. Always have, ever since my mother made me work in the coverage factory as a child. I'd never eat them now. Not after the abuse as a child. But I would definitely make others eat them. Would you like some coverage? What's that? She said. Oh, pretzels. Go ahead, try one. Mmm, very good. I'm sorry. That's okay. It works. It wasn't long before my phone was ringing non-stop for my coverage. I could barely keep up with all the orders. It wasn't that they loved the taste. It was something much more remarkable. Every time someone ate coverage, that person fell in love with the first person they saw. And the more people ate coverage, the more people loved. They began to appear everywhere. I generally don't like to see people kissing. Nothing turns my stomach more. I always wonder why they don't just get a room. But because now it was my creation, I could watch it forever. Soon the FDA shut me down. They said I didn't have permits to sell food. Something about safety regulations. But that's not why I'm in jail. I'm in jail because it worked. They got Al Capone on tax evasion. They are getting Julian Assange on rape. And me? Well, they got me for baking coverage. But we all know what it's really about. Six dollars, please.